In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can fix a problem with an app not being compatible with Bluestacks on a Windows PC. So let's open up Bluestacks. So Bluestacks allows you to install Android uh, apps onto your Windows PC. And if we go down to this option down here, which is App Player, it should open up a new screen. So to install a new app, you can either go to the App Center or you can use the search box up here. You will also need a Google account, so you may need to sign in with your Google account and so on. So I'm just going to type in an app which I know is not compatible with this current version. So if I tap on this app, it will probably be telling me that this is not compatible with this device. So it says there, this tablet isn't compatible with this app. So to fix this problem, it's not too difficult. So once you're on the app player screen, you can see all these icons on the right hand side and you want to select the one which is towards the bottom is this little icon here, which is called multi instance manager. So select that option and you can see by default, this program runs quite an old version of Android. So what you need to do, you need to add a newer version of Android to this particular program. So to do that, simply tap on the instance option down here, then select the fresh instance and then click on the drop box and you want to choose the most recent version of Android, which is Android 11 for this particular program and select next. Then you can choose different options. Personally, I just leave them as they are and then select download. So it may take four, five or six minutes to download. So just be patient. Okay, Android 11 has now been downloaded to this program. And all you have to do is click on the start option and it should then open up a new window. So you will need to sign back into your Google account with your email and your passwords to um, access the apps again. So we're back on the same screen. So again, same process to search for the app you want. And then it will ask you to log into your Google account. It's a little bit slow, so just bear with me. So just choose the app again, and then it should ask you to log into your Google account. So just sign in as normal, your Google Play, I should say. So just sign in with your email address and password. Okay, I've now signed back into my Google Play account, and you can now see that this particular app, which wasn't compatible with the previous version, is now available to install. So just click install and then you should be able to run the program straight from BlueStacks on your Windows PC. So hopefully that helps you. Thanks for watching.